The second tab we're going to cover under the Selection Automatics is the Condition tab. Now the Condition tab here is exactly the same mechanism as we have all over the software. We've done tutorials going over the Practicad layer mechanism. We show some of this in cataloging. You're going to see the conditions virtually everywhere. However, we're going to go over them again in the Selection tab. Basically, the Condition set allows us to refine our selection automatic. Currently under the Selection tab, we're going to say Select Fittings, Duck Line Forward. Now what we're going to do is say what fittings we want to be selected. Currently there's nothing checked up here in this box. We're going to say that when we highlight Duck Line Forward, we only want to get Transitions and Elbows. Notice we've left Rectangular Duct or Straight Duct. All of the choices here happen to be blank. So we're going to hit this little key and shrink it, but this selection auto is only going to highlight duck line forward fittings and only the ones that are checked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press the OK button. Practicad says in the command line to please select a fitting. We click to trigger off duck line forward, but instead of highlighting the entire duck line, Practicad only highlights the entities that were selected. In this particular case, it's going to be fittings that are transitions or elbows. Besides just allowing you to select the entities that Practicad is going to use during a selection automatic, you can also choose to refine that selection process by using conditions. For example, we'd like to highlight the duck line forward as represented here on the selection tab, fittings. So we're going to highlight fittings, duck line forward. And then under conditions, we choose to only highlight rectangular straight duct. So Practicad is not going to select any other fittings on this line with the exception of the ones that are checked here. Happens to be the rectangular straight duct. However, if we would like to refine this selection criteria even further, we can utilize the Condition tab. Here we have the two choices for Include and Exclude from Selection Set. We can say, based on these conditions, everything that meets these conditions should be included in the selection set or based on these conditions, everything should be excluded from selection set. In this tutorial, we're going to say to include in the selection set all rectangular duct, but we're going to add the condition to only select duct where the length is greater than 24 inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the drop down menu here and practically it's going to list every property in the software pertaining to that entity. And we're going to hit L to jump to the L parameters, and then we're going to scroll down until we get to the parameter length. Now remember, whenever you go to choose parameters, be very careful to make sure you're choosing the proper one for the entity you're using. Length and length between straights could be used dependent upon the fitting. Diameter in looks very much like the property damper in. So always double check and be very careful when selecting your properties for conditions. Here we're going to select length. Then we're going to say length when greater than 24 inches. So we only want duct on the drawing that has a length greater than 24 inches. Now we're going to hit the condition box and check it. There are tutorials or quick tips underneath the Practicad layer mechanism that explain why you want this checked sometimes and other times you don't. 99% of the time this is checked and the basic is in the logic. When checked, the length property has to be defined on the fitting we're using or this automatic will not work. So what we're going to do is we're going to say select rectangular duct, duct line forward only when the length is greater than 24 inches. We're now going to press OK. We're going to be prompted to pick the beginning of the duct line. We're going to click once. And now Practicad has highlighted just rectangular duct. No other fittings on the drawing, but notice that it did not select the rectangular duct here because the length is 24 inches. And the condition we put into it was select duct line forward rect duct, but length must be greater than 24 inches. So utilizing the conditions, we can also refine our selection criteria. This condition is used in virtually every automatic, so it's very important to understand how it works to continue forward with other tutorials on automatics of different types.